is my great pleasure to introduce the man that married Molly and I twice, the author of the Religious Freedom and Civil Marriage Protection Act, an advocate for our community for so many years. He's shown up in everything all the time. He is never unstoppable, never ending in his commitment to equality. Our Senator! shift 18 points so quickly. We picked up those 18. They lost those 18. So the radical religious right, they lost those 18 points and they're desperately holding on to those last four. But look where else they've been on the wrong side of history. You know, up until about 1870 in this country, a woman could not own property or sign contracts independent of her husband because she was literally and legally the property of her husband. The law was changed at that time and the radical religious right in 1870 warned, if you do this, the sky will fall and civilization as we know it will come to an end. And they lost that battle too. In the early part of the 20th century, when we were fighting for women's suffrage, the right to vote for women as well as men, the radical religious right again said you can't do this. Our Bible tells us women are subservient to men. Supreme Court in 1948 and then the Earl Warren Supreme Court in 1967 finally ended the ban on interracial marriage. Again, the radical religious right fought that and they literally said that the good Lord put different races on different continents to keep us apart. You can't allow for interracial marriage. 
And they lost that one too. and they're on the wrong side of it again and our Supreme Court's going to put it to rest yeah. once and for all. Yeah. Let's go right. yeah. civil rights, for freedom and equality, all the organizations across this state and country stood with us when we moved our bill through the legislature, the first and only one of its kind in this nation. And we could not have done it without our coalition partners. And so we need to thank Chinese for affirmative action, 